Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World as America. So, I need to move my spy elsewhere because I need over 100 turns to steal something from Vienna. I might try moving him to Poland or to the city with highest potential. Let's see. That would be Carthage. Let's try that, I suppose. Also, I decided to actually buy a mosque in my capital and that's partially because Buddhism has sacred sites. So I will get plus 2 tourism from that. That will be useful. This mosque will be worth plus 1 happiness, plus 2 culture, plus 3 faith and plus 2 tourism. So that's a pretty good deal for 600 faith. I will sign open borders with Poland because while I don't really want to waste my faith to spread Buddhism around, it would be nice if they spread Buddhism to some of my other cities. Seems unlikely because they are quite far away, but who knows, maybe it will happen. I wouldn't mind getting Buddhism in Chicago, for example. Because Buddhism is what's giving me plus one culture on all jungle tiles. So I would like that in Chicago, if possible. I'm going to sign open borders with everyone who has order, which means everyone except Shaka, Carthage and someone else. Who was that? Shaka, Carthage and Japan. All right. So let's get open borders with everyone. Austria. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it with everyone, but let's try. There we go. Austria agreed. Poland is next. Actually, I already did that with Poland. So China. Let's do that. Oh yeah, I did I sell? No, I, I didn't sell open borders. I thought that was grayed out for a second. Spain. I'm not sure if open borders with Spain is such a smart idea, but I'll get it anyway. And Hiawatha. Let's do that too. Alright. So, I can't really buy any luxuries, unfortunately. There are no trades available. I might sell my coal, because I'll get 10 more coal soon, and I don't need that much. I could, however, use the gold. So, let's see. I need 300 something gold for this. I think that's going to be 337 exactly. Let's try 340. Yeah, 337. Alright then. I'll keep the rest because I want to get started on factories sometime soon. Hmm. Then again, I will hook up the second copy in 6 turns. Let's sell that to someone else. Let's say Poland. Will they buy my call? Nope, they won't. Who do I have the creation of friendship with? Oh yeah, Shaka. Maybe he will buy that? Yep, he will. So, 337 from him. Okay, nice. So that's 853 gold. I'll probably save up for another public school. My second top science city is Venice. It's way lower than Washington, but I wouldn't mind a public school in Venice. I need as much science as possible. As an alternative, I could also buy universities. Because I'm going to need Oxford. And I still need a few more universities. How many universities do I need? I need five more. And one more thing I almost forgot. Buddhism also has plus two happiness from temples. In cities with five followers. So I'll get a temple in my capital. I can use the faith per turn. And this will also give me two happiness. So that's nice. I might even build a temple in Boston. And delay the university. Oh, I don't even have a shrine in here, alright. I need the happiness, because my cities are growing quite nicely, but they won't grow without happiness, obviously. So, let's continue. I should steal a technology in one turn, I believe. Shaka is still fighting Spain, so that's nice. I need them to kill each other's unis, more or less. I don't really care about who takes cities. I would prefer them not to get stronger, but I just need them to destroy each other's units to weaken each other's army. Open borders with Japan? No, not really. I'm actually hoping to get some AIs into a nuclear war in this game, once they get the technology for it. There are a lot of wars in this game, and yes, Spain is stealing my antiquity site. I can't buy this tile, unfortunately, so there's nothing I can do about this. But I was, as I was saying, if I could get some AI, AIs into a nuclear war, that could actually save this game for me. We'll see. They keep fighting each other constantly, so that's good. Right, do I need yet another farm? I could probably delay that a little bit. I need some improvements around Philadelphia. 
So I think I'll send this guy to Philadelphia. I need to get a pasture. I need to get at least one mine, some farms. Okay, can I steal electricity? Yes, I can. Awesome. Give me some aluminum. I got some. Nice. Two copies near Chicago. Not bad. This is going to be a pretty good city. I definitely don't regret starting this city. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, there's aluminum over here. I should probably buy that before Shaka steals it. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. That's only 75 gold, so not a big deal. What's this? That was a little bit too late. Oh well, whatever. Oh no, that was my spy, was it? it? Friendly trade route plundered. Yeah, that's other civilizations sending trade routes to me. Even though I'm not at war myself, but they are at war with each other. 39 turns. That's decent enough. I think I'll keep him in Kyoto. Oh, great. I can just tell him that my agents go where they please. He doesn't like me too much anyway. And he will have a different ideology and he's on the other side of the map. I'll just tell him my agents go where they please. And keep my spy in Kyoto. 39 turns is decent. Not great, but... I needed over 100 turns in Vienna, so I don't want to waste my time moving my spy around. I'm not signing research agreements because I'll need my money to buy universities. I'll need to get Oxford sometime soon, and the best way to go is to just buy universities in cities with low production. That's what I plan to do. And I need 890 gold for one university, so that's a little bit expensive. Silk... To Poland, alright. Let's grab that again then. I do have declaration of friendship with him. Oh, what? No silk here? He doesn't want it. Okay. But I do have one copy for trade? Yes, I do. Can I trade for some luxuries? Right, I can check that right here. Nope, I can't. No luxury trades available. Oh well. Can I sell that to someone I have declaration of friendship with? Doesn't look like it. Nope, I can't. Can I sell it at all to anyone? Yes, Austria will buy it. So, 7 gold per 10. Okay, next. What do I research next? I think I'll just grab archaeology or I could get radio. I kind of want to get some landmarks. So, archaeology is not a bad idea. I have at least two antiquity sites that I can already see. This one and this one. And I need more culture. I need to get some tennis in order once I actually get order. I'm definitely going for order in this game. In fact, most of the AI speak order. There's only one leader with autocracy and one leader with freedom. And one leader who didn't pick anything yet. So order will be the dominant ideology in this game. That means I should be able to stay friendly with most of the AIs, since I'll get a bonus for having the same ideology. And I'm already very friendly with them. So that's useful. Now I'm thinking about the best way to get Buddhism in more cities. Because then I could get a little bit of extra culture and I could buy more mosques. Work about you go here. Alright, that cargo ship needs five more turns. What do I need first? Probably a pasture because I'll be working that tile anyway. I should be working that right now. Okay, let's change this around. Actually, I'll just redo all the assignments in this city. So, this one and this. Okay, that's pretty good. That's all the best tiles being worked. And New York is population 9. Very nice. I think I'll focus on production now, which is mostly what I'm doing already. Yeah, I think this looks fine. Three more turns to finish the farm. Oh, he assigned the workshop specialist. I'm not sure if I want that. I would prefer extra money, actually. Yeah, this looks better. And then I'll switch that to the farm. Once my worker is done. Alright. China denounced Carthage. Whatever. Next. Seven more turns for the temple. Yes, I'm in negative happiness, unfortunately. That sucks, but not much I can do about it. I could bribe Vilnos, which is a mercantile city-state, but I'm not too excited about that idea. Mostly because I really need the money for universities. I want to use Oxford to get either into modern era or into atomic era. 
I'll probably have to use it for Atomic Era because I'm very close to Modern already and I'm nowhere close to building Oxford. Lighthouse in Philadelphia. I need an armory in Venice once I'm done with that cargo ship. That's for sure. I wouldn't mind a seaport, but I'm not sure if I have enough time to actually build a seaport in Venice. That thing requires a lot of hammers. So that will take around 20 turns, probably. I could easily build one or even two frigates in that time. Grab this. Borders expanded, nice. So how much aluminium will I have? Three, six, nine. Okay, nine al aluminium, that's not too bad. I could actually sell some of that and I definitely need to hook that up. I also need some improvements around Atlanta. Yeah, let's just grab this mine. I can work that tile with Atlanta, so that seems like a good plan. Okay. Nothing super exciting going on. I do have a quest for gold in Wellington, but Tiawatha is 100 influence ahead of me. It kind of sucks that I can't really get allied with any city-states. 67, but no quest in there. Yeah. I still didn't find a lot of city-states. I didn't really explore the map a lot, or at all, besides my own continent, so that's kind of bad. But I was too busy to actually build caravels. I could have bought one, I suppose. I could buy one right now, but I'm saving gold specifically for universities. I'm getting 63 per turn, so that's not too bad. I'll get even more once I'm done with that cargo ship. This cargo ship is actually worth over 20 gold per turn. Because I have at least one shade route that will generate 20 gold per turn. That's not being operated right now. Okay, two more turns of negative happiness. I'm only losing two production right now, so that's not too bad. Not the end of the world, for sure. Oh yeah, right. I sign open borders, which means I should protect these tiles. I think I'll just move my units and keep them on top of this. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Oh, did that archaeologist run away or something? Okay. I can just move my trebuchet to that tile. Okay, hold on. I have a site over here. And I have a site over here. And there's archaeologists heading in this general direction. I'll move my knight to this one. Yeah, I'll just keep units on top of all these sites. I want to get them myself. Preferably as soon as possible. I'm kind of surprised that this archaeologist is not here anymore? Did he get killed by Shaka or something? I didn't really see. But there was an archaeologist here. So that's odd. I need to get my trebuchet there before he comes back. Nice, more money. My trays are expiring, so that's great. I'll get a lot of money soon. That's exactly what I need. I will have to build some universities myself, because obviously I can't afford... Wow, they only have one gem? Will they sell that for 9 gold? Yeah, they will, okay. But they don't have citrus anymore, which means I might lose for happiness. Anyway, I was saying, I'll have to build some universities myself. Oh, I had antiquity site over here, damn it. I totally didn't see that. Well, that kind of sucks, because I could have protected that tile. Yeah, that definitely sucks. I can't do anything about this anymore either. Oh well, at least I can get this one, but this is bad. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset about that now, but whatever. Can't do anything about that anymore. So this guy goes here, the knight will go here. I won't have time to get four archaeologists anyway, so meh, they can have it. And oh yeah, I connected coal. What do I need now? What do I need the most? Good question. I should probably do something with some of these tiles, because Boston is running out of tiles to work. So yeah, I could get a mine on top of that hill. Or a shedding post, if I want to keep the jungle. As for this guy, I still need more improvements around Atlanta, so I'll get that. Alright, next. I'm almost done with the observatory, so that's nice. And Grainar will finish in one turn. I just, yeah, I lost for happiness. 
because I lost Sage Rules from China. They don't seem to have it anymore. Yeah, that's bad because I won't get back into positive happiness, even with the Colosseum and the Temple. I might have to buy some Colosseums and then get Circus Maximus somewhere. How many more Colosseums do I need? I'll check that when my turn starts. Come on, give me my turn. Can I actually ask Poland to withdraw with this archaeologist? Probably not, but I wish that was possible. Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible. This cast... No, it's not possible. So that really sucks. It's getting on my nerves. I could sell more coal if I want to. Anyway, Kiev. I do have a Colosseum in here. How many more Colosseums do I need? Oh, I can already build Circus Maximus. Okay, perfect. What about university? Right, this city already has university. I'll just grab a workshop. I'm going to need that. So, where can I build Circus Maximus? Probably in New York. That's technically my highest production city, which is pretty sad. Oh, I also need university in here. Never mind. Washington is my second top production city, really? Okay. I guess I'll just grab that here. I wouldn't call this high production, though. Not by any stretch of imagination. Yeah, I think I have to build that elsewhere. I could do that in New York. I could just buy a university in New York and I should probably do it. Yeah, I think I should do it. 26 turns. That's a lot. I can get up to 19 hammers. That's still kind of low, honestly. <laughs> But I need that happiness. Okay, you go here. You just stay here. And you stay here. Alright then. Hmm, build a university or not? Yeah, I think I'll need the money to build universities in really low production cities. Because this is my highest production city. I'd still need universities in cities like Chicago. Which has how many hammers? Yeah, three hammers. Philadelphia, also three hammers. I'll have to buy universities there. I need five more universities. I need to check which exact cities I need them in. I have a university in Venice and in Washington. I don't think I have one in Boston. Right, Boston is already building one. I have one in Kiev. So that's Atlanta, Chicago, Philadelphia. Right, and then Boston and New York. That makes sense. So I need to buy university in Chicago, Atlanta and Philadelphia. Which means I need over 2000 gold to make that happen. I'll just save up until I have 2000. That's what I'll have to do more or less. I could actually use a mine on one of these hills, like this one to the west. I could definitely use a mine over there. I might remove that jungle and get a mine instead. Cargo ship, nice. Exactly what I needed. So 22 gold from Vienna. I'm definitely going for that one. Now I need an armory. This was placeholder production, the walls, since I didn't have steel yet. I'm not going to wait for Venice to grow because that's not going to happen anytime soon. I'll just switch it to full production. Yes, you stay there. I should switch all of my cities to full production. I think they are all on full production already. No, this one wasn't. Okay, I'll just reset everything. But I need to make sure I'm working the Great Tal improvements. So I kind of want to work this one. And the Academy in Washington. I'll just lock it to make sure I'm working that. Alright, next. How's my production now? Not much better, I suppose. I need to get some factories. I would buy factories if I didn't need the universities. Yeah, Shaka is denouncing me. I thought we were friends. I guess he didn't like me buying this aluminium, although he didn't complain about me buying tiles near his cities. Or someone else denounced... No, no one denounced me. Oh well, whatever. No, I'm not going to war. You go do that yourself. Yeah, Spain already has artillery. Well, I guess so, because they are still more than 10 technologies ahead of me. 
And dynamite is not a super advanced technology. Casimir entered modern era. So much for that antiquity site. I'll just get a mine on that tile. I'm tempted to replace the jungle with a mine. That's only to science in Boston. I want to focus the city on production instead. Choose host. Okay, so should I vote on Hiawatha instead? How are my relations with Isabella now? Let's have a look. I'm very friendly with Isabella. Hiawatha doesn't like me too much. No, this is Shaka, not Hiawatha. This is Hiawatha. I'm very friendly with both. But yes, yeah, Spain is the current host. So Hiawatha won't complain about me not voting for him. But I'm pretty sure Spain won't like me voting for Hiawatha. Okay, let's vote for Spain. I can't allow Spain to declare war on me, so this makes sense. I don't have a border with Hiawatha, but... What? Yeah, whatever. As I was saying, I don't have a border with Hiawatha, he's not my direct neighbor. But Spain is my direct neighbor. And if, if they ever get any silly ideas about attacking me, I wouldn't really be able to defend myself properly. At least not right now. No. Not yet, anyway. Maybe in the future. The bad part about this game is that I won't get scientific revolution anytime soon. I don't even have the rationalism opener yet. And it's 10 330. The three policies I spent in honor were a huge waste. Spain remains host. Alright, let's grab that mine over here. And connect this. Other than that, looks fine. What's this? Oh yeah. I should grab a workboat in here, probably. Can I do that in reasonable future? Not sure if 20 turns counts as reasonable, but whatever. 10 turns for the armory. 10 turns for university. 12 turns for university. Maybe I should start buying these universities. I won't get a lot of science from them, though. Philadelphia is when population. It might be worth it in Philadelphia. Oh, well, I'm in negative happiness, so it's not like the city is going to grow anytime soon. Okay, where's that university? Come on. Oh, I don't even have a library in here yet. Okay. I need 14 turns for a lighthouse. Holy crap. Maybe I should buy a library. <laughs> That's 550 gold. Yeah, this city needs more production. Why is it set to four? I need some mines around this city. Yeah, that's a bit better. Seven turns. I need mines over there. Maybe I should bring another worker. I neglected the improvements around this city a little bit. I can get two mines on these hills. And that needs to happen ASAP. And then I could still work these two in the future. If I want to get access to that, I need to spend some money. Because Shaka is going to steal that. I'm surprised Shaka didn't steal the coal yet. Or silk, bananas. Whatever. So, come on. Let's have a look at the technology ranking now. It's probably not looking very well for me. Yeah, definitely not. 73 turns. Okay, that's way too long. I need to send that spy elsewhere. I could send him to Poland or something. Yeah, let's try that. So, rationalism opener. I don't really have a big choice here. That has to happen right now. Grab a mine. So, can I still build a porcelain tower? I'm pretty sure I can. Do I want to? I'm going to need 41 turns. I should do that in Venice, because then I could use cargo ships to add production in here. But that will delay my military production even more. Which is pretty bad. Yeah. But I have to get it in here. What's the production there now? 23 hammers. Not impressive. Will my cargo ships be available anytime soon? Kind of. In 6 turns and then in 7. Oh yeah, I'm already adding 10 hammers to Venice, right. I can't really use these cargo ships, they are worth way too much gold. 
But 44 turns? That's so bad. And I can't really get more production in here. Unless I sacrifice my specialists, which I can't. I don't want to do that. 21. Yeah, not excited about this. I could use more population in this city. Yeah, I definitely need more population in this city. Doesn't really matter if I'm going to work this. That's still 21 hammers. Oh well. I'll get it for 44 turns, I suppose. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I pledged to protect one of the city states for extra influence. I want to stay friendly with Shaka. So, yeah. I don't really care about that city state all that much. I wasn't friendly with it anymore anyway. I'm still sitting in negative happiness. I'm only losing 2% production, but my cities aren't growing properly. And there are no trades available. Actually, yes, I can buy citrus from China now. I need to do that. And I can buy pearls from Shaka. Okay. I might even trade my iron. Because I'm not even ready to start building frigates yet. And if I continue building the porcelain tower, I won't be building an army anytime soon. <laughs> Unless I do it in Washington. I guess I could do that. Silk to Isabella. Okay, nice. Can I trade that? Oh, she doesn't want my silk anymore? Anyway. Luxuries. Who had the luxuries again? Chaka had pearls and China had citrus. Okay, let's try that then. Silk for citrus. How's that? Nice. And Shaka. Do I want to trade my iron? I could trade coal instead. Will he buy coal from me? Yes, he will. So how about coal for pearls? No? How is there no way to make this work? Come on, dude. I'm not giving you that much crap. Are you crazy? Let's grab an embassy instead. Oh well. At least I'm back in positive happiness for now. Which means I need my cities to grow. I need Philadelphia to grow faster. So let's change this. This goes here. And here. That's still pretty bad. But I need this to grow. That's five turns. And that's about it. What about Chicago? Yeah, I can make this better. I should be working that holy side. No, this is not the best way to go. Yeah, this is the best way to go. 12 turns is still a lot. What about Kiev? Yep. Watch me drop into negative happiness and reset all of this. In two turns or one turn. Wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Yeah, this is much better. I need production and not gold. Well, I kind of need both, but I need production more than that. This is still not the best way to go. Yeah, this is better. 17 turns for that workshop. Not fantastic, but I'll take it. This is fine. I need that mine to finish faster. Alright, and Atlanta. I need more improvements around Atlanta, as you can see. Let's see. Some more culture wouldn't be bad. This goes here. And here. Alright, looks good. That granary is almost done, so Atlanta should grow in reasonable time. But I still need to buy more universities. I'm not convinced building that porcelain tower in Venice is such a great idea. I could do it in New York instead, but that will take longer. Yeah, I'm actually considering changing this to New York after I'm done with the university. This is going to take way too long. And if I fail to build it, I also won't have a military. I'd rather focus Venice on military production. Yeah, I don't like that, but I have to do it. I'm switching Venice to military production. I'll just continue that armory. I didn't get a single frigate yet, so that's just bad. Come on. Yeah, yeah. They like to smile. Whatever. Armory and remove the porcelain tower. I will let this university finish. And I guess I'll just start porcelain tower after that. I still need Circus Maximus though. I need so many things and I want to focus on my military, but I just can't. 
At least granary is done, so library next. Yeah, I need to speed that up. I'll just focus this on production. 13 turns is not terrible. I'll just use Oxford University to get into Atomic Era and research. What, what technology was that? Yeah, radio. And research radio myself. Then probably use Oxford for Atomic Theory. Or even for electronics, that's not a bad idea. Either way, I'll just research radio myself, because I won't have Oxford in 26 turns, I don't think so. Probably not. Declaration of friendship with China. I guess I can agree. More trades for gold, that's never a bad thing. Almost 2000. Right. Another antiquity site, so how many antiquity sites do I have? There's one, two, three, four. That's the same one. So I have four antiquity sites, five, because there's this one. Okay, I would have had six if Poland didn't steal this one, or if I noticed that one turn earlier. But it's okay, I probably won't have time to get five archaeologists anyway. I just don't have enough high production cities. Now the question is, should I research radio myself, or get some military technologies? I'm actually not sure. I could get biology and hope to get some oil, which would increase my production. Hmm. Let's see, I could get started on Oxford in 8 turns. Because I have enough money to buy the remaining universities. Well, that's not 8 turns, that's going to be 12... What about this? I need to speed this library up. What's the fastest? 14 turns. So I could get started on Oxford University in 14 turns. Which means I could just skip radio and get radio with Oxford. That will delay modern era a little bit, but not that much. I think that's the best way to go. However, this part is done now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.